What to expect when renting a Class C motorhome from Island RV? For starters, what is a Class C motorhome? Simply put, it is a motorhome with a truck chassis and a bunk over the driving cab. We have two different sizes available in our fleet, 23 feet and 28 feet. This is the measurement of the house body. The actual length is about three additional feet when measured from bumper to bumper. In this tutorial, we will inform you of what to expect when renting one of our motorhomes. We will discuss the dimensions, road handling and fuel consumption. We will look at similarities and differences when comparing motorhomes to travel trailers. We will answer common questions about what to expect when camping in one of our motorhomes. Let's look at some general dimensions. The width is around 8 feet 3 inches. The height is around 11 feet 2 inches. And the length will be either 25 feet 8 inches or 30 feet 4 inches. Road handling and driving. When driving one of our Class C motorhomes, you will notice several factors that make it different from driving a car or a pickup truck. For starters, the vehicle is taller. It is wider. The side view mirrors extend a great distance, making your footprint even larger. The weight of the vehicle is considerably heavier. And you don't have the ability to see outside of a rear view mirror. How do these differences translate when driving? You must be aware of low lying overhead objects. Verify when approaching objects or structures, such as branches, power lines, bridges, parkades and of course boarding ferry boats. You must verify heights before proceeding if the height is not posted, you may have to stop and look. You will occupy more of the lane than you're used to. Pay closer attention to your surroundings. You will have less room to wander before you begin to depart your lane. Be extra cautious when crossing paths with another wide vehicle. Mirror on mirror contact occurs too often and is avoidable. Turns need to be approached at a wider angle, especially 90 degree right hand turns. When traveling on roads, ensure there is an adequate distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Due to the additional weight, your stopping distance will be greater. Utilize your side view mirrors and your secondary mirrors to safely make lane changes and turns. When reversing, utilize a spotter. Please review our video on the spotter roll. How much gasoline will you consume on your trip? Typically the motorhome will consume 26 liters of gasoline for every 100 kilometers driven. You can approximate the fuel cost for your trip by multiplying your estimated number of kilometers, times the rate of consumption, which is 0.26 liters per kilometer, times the price of gasoline per liter. Total kilometers, multiply, 0.26 liter slash kilometers, x, gas price per liter, equals estimated fuel cost. Comparing a Class C motorhome to a travel trailer, Similarities. Much like a travel trailer, the Class C motorhome comes equipped with many amenities to make your trip comfortable. You will have access to stove top burners, a hot water tank, a fridge, a microwave, a toilet, a shower, sinks, a furnace, and an air conditioner. Differences. There are some subtle differences when camping in a Class C motorhome versus a travel trailer. You will find the motorhome is drivable, so if you're dry camping, you can travel to empty your waste holding tanks and replenish your freshwater holding tank. The propane tank is built in and requires a gas attendant to refill it at a pump station. Only certain gas stations have this ability. There usually isn't an oven, only stovetop burners. The freshwater tank is a bit smaller at 150 liters compared to 200 liters. The gray tank is considerably smaller and holds about 90 liters. The gray tank is susceptible to overfilling because it is smaller than the freshwater tank. The units with built-in generators will provide many benefits for dry camping. Common questions about what to expect. When traveling how does my fridge work? You will need to turn off your propane when driving. Your fridge will not operate, so you will need to consider your perishables. The fridge will act like a cooler, so you are likely safe to travel for a few hours before it is an issue. You can consider adding a bag or block of ice to the fridge and freezer to maintain coldness. Another option is to run the built-in generator with the trailer plugged into it. Not every motorhome comes with a built-in generator, and while it is convenient, it does use a lot more fuel. What other benefits does the generator provide? If you are dry camping, you can run the generator to utilize the microwave and the AC unit. While it's running, you will also have access to the power outlets, which will allow you to use electronics. The running generator will also charge your 12 volts house battery. How many people fit in the motorhomes? The 23-foot unit can sleep 5 and is equipped with 6 seat belts. The 28-foot unit can sleep 7 and is equipped with 9 seat belts. In both units, the dinette seating area has mounted brackets to secure a child seat. It is important to note, 
we do not provide infant or toddler seat carriers. You will need to make your own arrangements for these items if they are required. What are the sleeping arrangements? Both motorhome lengths have a large queen bed over top of the driving cab. This bed is wide and spacious, but it does lack headroom and some climbing is required. Both motorhome lengths also have dinettes that can be converted into single beds. The 23-foot motorhome comes equipped with a double bed on the ground level. The 28-foot motorhome has a walk-around queen bed on the ground level and a futon-style couch that folds into a double bed. Where to stay? We recommend that you plan and book your camping locations ahead of time, especially in summer. If you want a list of our recommendations, please email us at info at islanderv.ca. If you choose not to stay at a campground, consider these suggestions. Choose a safe location. Make sure you have permission. Choose a level surface. If you are on a hill, the fridge will not function. This tutorial contains many references to Class C motorhomes in our fleet. The numbers and values are meant to be used as an approximation. Please verify when it is important. We look forward to meeting you on your next Vancouver Island adventure. Happy Camping! Brought to you by the proud campers from Island RV and RVME.